Hello Youtubers, I'm Parwis and this is our 31st video in Learn Django 2.1. In the previous video we have talked about model inheritance, different type of model inheritance in Django and uh, uh, we have mentioned that there are three different types of model inheritance that we can use in Django. So we have abstract base class model inheritance, we have multi-table model inheritance and we have proxy models. Uh, Basically, in the previous video, we have talked about uh, abstract base class model inheritance. Uh, let me recap the previous video. Uh, this was an example from the previous video. It is an abstract base class model inheritance. We have a class contact info, and there are some fields like name, email, address. And we have a class meta, and in there we have made the abstract to true. And after that, we have two classes, two model classes. The first one is customer and the second one is staff and it inherits from our contact info. So when we make migrations our, of our this model, uh, you can see that in the migration, uh, let me open this, in the migration if you see there is no contact info table. We have just customer table and we have just a staff table. So uh, and if you see your model we have a contact info and uh, now uh, if you, uh, we are using an abstract base model class and uh, we make migrations there will not be any table for our base class the base class is just uh, the holder of our uh, data and we will not have any uh, table in our database for our this uh, base class so we have just uh, table for our customer and for our staff so sometime you will need that uh, you need to uh, have a, a table for your base class also in your database uh, now uh, in here Django will introduce uh, Django introduce uh, multi-table inheritance uh, in multi-table inheritance each model in the hierarchy is a model by itself what it means it means that it will create a table for our base class and a table for our draft class and it will create a relationship using one-to-one -one field model relationship so let me just show you an example of this okay I've created a, a new project and you can see uh, let me open I also have created an app let me open my models and in here I'm going to create my model okay now first I'm going to create a class place uh, models dot model and here we have a name this is models dot uh, car field and the max length is 30 we have others models dot car field and the max length is 30 okay now let me just uh, make diff str and return self dot name okay now we are going to create another model that uh, inherit from our place so class rust to run and we can give the place in here and this will we will give some fields for this so for example serves underscore tuna models dot boolean field and the default make it false serves pizza models dot boolean field and the default make it false okay and let me just diff underscore underscore str return self dot serves tuna okay now we have created our two models let me open the uh, terminal and uh, 
create new session cd my project python manage dot by make migrations now I'm waiting now you can see when when we are going to make migration it create a model for our place also it create a model for our restaurant and uh, Python manage dot by migrate and uh, it will complete our migrate let me create a new session and now the my uh, migrate completed let me also run my development server python manage dot by run server okay now let me just open uh, my uh, project and I'm going to open migrations and migration file and if you see uh, now you can see uh, we have a place in here a different uh, table for our place name address also we have a restaurant and you can see that in here we have models one-to-one -one field a relationship between these uh, two fields and now if I let me just uh, open my development server and if I mm, copy this and paste it in my browser also I have created a super user because I want to show you uh, these uh, tables in our at main panel now I'm going to just wait for this now I want to go to the at main I want to write my username also password and login okay right now there is nothing because we need to add our these uh, models in our admin so let me open this and uh, in here from dot models from dot models import place also restaurant and in here admin dot site dot register place also admin dot site dot register restaurant okay uh, now if I refresh this okay now I'm waiting that my server is res being restarted now you can see we have a place and if I click on my this uh, table add place we have a name address and if I go to the home and the restaurant add restaurant you can see we have name address also we have these serves tuna and serves pizza so thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos subscribe to my channel